In this video, we use the Simulink Real-Time Explorer to download and control a real-time application. For this demo, we assume that you have correctly set up and booted the target computer. When the Simulink Real-Time Explorer is first launched, it looks something like this. I have one target computer defined, which is called Target PC1. The round button next to the target computer name is red, which shows us that the Simulink Real-Time Explorer is currently not connected to the target computer. The Simulink model we will be using is a basic oscillator model that has a Simulink Real-Time scope connected to the output. This model has already been set up for Simulink Real-Time and we go ahead and start a build. At the end of the build process, the real-time application is created and downloaded to the target computer. Once this application is downloaded, the connection indicator is now green, which shows that the target computer is connected to the Simulink Real-Time Explorer. We also see in the Applications window the downloaded real-time application. The round button next to the application name is red, which shows that the downloaded application is currently not running. To start the real-time application, select the application node and then press the play button. You can also click this button, which then turns green, showing that the application is running. Notice that the button turns green for a very short time and then switches back to red. This means that the application itself runs for a very short time since the original Simulink model had a stop time of only 0.2 seconds. We can increase the stop time for the real-time application without rebuilding the Simulink model. To do this, double-click to open the Application Properties page. As we can see, the stop time is set to 0.2 seconds. We increase this to 15 seconds and then hit Enter to accept the change. We then start the application again. We now see the current execution time, which is increasing, as well as statistics about the task execution time of this application. We would also like to view the real-time scope that is a part of the application. To do this, navigate to the Scopes window and open the Scope Viewer corresponding to the scope you want to see. In this case, it's the only scope. We arrange the Scope Viewer window to be under the Application Properties window. Then start the real-time application one more time. We can then view both the application properties as well as the scope traces at the same time. To download a previously created real-time application, we don't need to rebuild the original Simulink model. We can right-click on the Target Computer node to select and load the application. I'm just going to re-download the same application. You can also navigate to the real-time application file, which has an extension of .dlm, this file here, and drag and drop it onto the Target Computer node for the same effect.